Zazzle tutorial for beginners. How to use Zazzle for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Zazzle. So let's get into it. Now, first off, what exactly is print on demand? Well, print on demand is a tool that you can use that can help you in creating amazing products without having to build waste and having to store multiple different items in storage. So how do you do that? Well, with print on demand, you have multiple different options of items that you can sell and you can design the item however you want. And then whenever a customer orders the item, it is directly shipped to that customer. It's printed as soon as they order and it's shipped to that particular customer and you get a commission from that. So as the Zazzle platform takes a small cut, they handle all of the shipping, delivery, the printing process, all of that is handled by them and you can just directly get paid. So to get started on Zazzle print on demand, simply head on over to zazzle.com and click on sell on Zazzle on the top right. Now from here, we're gonna click on sell on Zazzle and we can get started with Facebook, Google, Apple, or just our email address so i'm going to continue with google over here and once you have done that you will have your sassel account so to open your sassel store you need a valid email address you're going to click on continue and then you're just going to verify your email address for sassel to get started with your actual store i'm just going to wait for this to be completed and if you can't find your mail, it might be in your spam as well. So make sure to check that in case you ever don't get your verification emails. It might take a couple of seconds for the email to arrive as well. Now, once you have continued on, you can get started with designing. Now, in your profile on the top right, you will have collections you can build. You have your product and you have your home section. Then you will have your basic public profile as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that whenever you're selling on Dazzle, you do have to make sure you're adding a actual, you know, customizable product. You are sharing your product, sharing your collection, as well as adding your payment method so Dazzle can pay you. So make sure to do that whenever you're starting your stores. So I will start my first store. Your store is going to be segregated from your actual public profile. Your profile and your store are two different things. So I'm going to click on open new store over here and I'm just going to wait for our email address to be confirmed. And I'm just going to validate my email address over here to get started with our store. So now that I have completed my verification, I'm going to get started with my store and I'm going to build my store called maybe Jane Sturden. And then we're going to click on create store over here. Once you do that, you can make your store private when you're setting it up. It's usually a good thing to make your store private. So when you're finished and it's ready to launch, you can launch your store and you can start promoting it at the same time as well. Then you can add your tagline. So let's say it's going to be cute and coquette. Like that's like a new trend or something. I'm pretty sure coquette is like the current trend. So I'm just going to enter that in our tagline. And then you can enter your about section, which is going to be slightly more descriptive, where you're actually going to talk about your brand. One thing I do recommend when you're on Zazzle is not to create a mishmash of everything. Stick with a certain niche or a certain aesthetic and design products accordingly. Because if you're designing everything, so if you're designing super tech oriented products and it's super edgy and then you're also designing cute girly things it doesn't work well it usually is best if you go for a very targeted approach and you are targeting a certain type of audience or segment so you can enter about over here i'm just going to leave it for now and then you're going to add your store banner so i am going to click on over here and we can click on upload media from the top left and from here we are going to upload any image that you want to use as your banner. Let's say I just want to use this as my banner. So I'm just going to upload that over here. And once you have uploaded your image, you can go on ahead and insert it as a banner. Now this actually is, uh, the size is not accurate for a banner. It needs to be wide to be a banner. So I can't really add that as a banner. You do have to make a larger size image 
for that. So if I take, you know, any of these WebHP images, all of these are product images. So it's going to be a bit difficult for me to use them as a banner, but I'm just going to use like this section as a banner. And then I'm just going to click on OK over here. This is going to be our new banner. And then we have our website URL that we can enter as well. So Jane's are done. And then you can enter your tags as well. So let's say we want to add kawaii, cute, okay, like this. And then you can enter your country. You can enter your state as well. So we're just going to do that over here. And then I don't have Janester Den, but I have their den dot store over here. And I'm just going to enter that. Now, you can also, if you leave this empty, so if you leave your website URL empty, it's still going to create your store on Zazzle. So if you don't have a matching website URL, you don't need one. You still can sell your products. Now, from here, we're going to get started with designing our product. So you can see on the left, you have multiple different product options. You can go into the sell section over here here and just go on ahead and take a look at the different products available now there are different niches clothing invitations art items baby and kids electronics office items mostly people like to create merchandise so let's take a simple t-shirt over here and i'm going to take like a simple t-shirt so i think i'm going to go with men's basic t-shirt this is like a unisex t-shirt and it's currently $17 per shirt. Now, make sure to filter out all of these options because you might find similar products for different prices on Zazzle depending on their supplier as well. Now, they do have a 15% off with a special code. They usually do have some kind of sale that's running around, so make sure to keep your eye out for that as well. Now, once you've chosen the product you want, you can choose the sizes that you want and just click on customize design and you can, you know, enter whatever design you want. So let's say I want to add this over here and on the bottom right, I can see the preview. I'm going to decrease the size a bit like this and then we're just going to resize this and place it over here. I'm not going to crop it. I'm going to leave it like this, like this, and then I can choose where I want the placement to be if I want to move this a little up like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center it a bit. And once I have placed the product on the right, you can see some filters that you can add to your design as well. And then you can just go on ahead and click on done on the top right. You can add icons, elements, and other things as well. And you can choose the colors that you want as well as the printing type that you want depending on the supplier that you have. So I want this an adult size small and I can just add to cart and get it ordered to myself first to see how it's going to look and then choose to sell it. However, if you want to directly sell it, just click on sell it over here and then you can just go on ahead and enter the title and the collection as well as the recipient customization buttons and more so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe